All right, so the origin of the Sparkle Pony is uh, more complicated than us deciding to pass out glittering horses at the seas because it's funny. Um, it actually came from an in-joke on Twitter from uh, Computers and Writing and when it was at Purdue. Uh, I was in a panel uh, sitting in the audience with my friends and we were, it was about gaming, so we were being sort of obnoxious on Twitter, which uh, we tend to do. And um, one of the presenters, and I sadly do not remember who, was presenting about World of Warcraft and um, the fact that World of Warcraft had recently released a mount, um, which is, you know, a horse or whatever that people ride around on. Um, and that particular mount happened to be a giant glittering horse. And um, the presentation was about how this giant glittering horse was, um, people were turning against it and saying it was bad for two reasons. One was because um, it was a giant glittering horse made out of stars and so they called it a sparkle pony and that was feminized. And then the second reason was because you could buy it for $25 so you did not have to actually earn it. And in the game it's popular to earn things. And this was before me or Mary who also worked on the game even started playing World of Warcraft. We joined later that summer and the reason we joined was that presentation because we decided we wanted a sparkle pony. So we tweeted, I want a sparkle pony and then a bunch of other people, even people who were not in the same room, also said they wanted a sparkle pony. Um, and Darren Armfield, who was sitting behind me, said she wanted one too. Um, and naturally we weren't going to pay $25 to get people digital horses, um, but it spread. It became viral instantly at that conference. And so we had a meeting later that day to plan Seize the Day for the very first time to come up with quest lines and achievements and things we were going to give out. And we joked about giving out sparkle ponies, but it was totally a joke. We weren't going to do it because expense and so on. Um, well, as the year went on, um, about, about six months later, people on Twitter were still saying, if you do this game, you have to make sparkle ponies. And um, my response was, well, shit. Uh, so, <laughs> I was the director of a writing center at Baker College, and so my job became to figure out how to manufacture sparkle ponies for very cheap, uh, because we didn't have funding that first year. But I had work study labor and I had uh, idle work studies, and so we had to make a design that could be made by these students uh, that were working for me. Um, and so we came up with this little wooden horse that we dipped in paint and then dipped in glitter and threw a googly eye on. Uh, the first one was creepy looking. He had um, these mesh wings and no eyes because the actual horse has no eyes. And it, we really tried to make it look like the wild mount, which is a celestial steed. Um, but when I put the googly eyes on it and dipped it in glitter, everybody loved it. And so we just started making them then. Um, so it was really, it was an in-joke. Uh, and what we found was that people love them um, in a way that we did not expect them to. Uh, I don't know what it is about ponies and what it is about this silly little wooden horse, but people want them. So that first year we handed them out and people loved it. This, uh, from there on out, it just kind of grew and more and more people wanted them. Um, but we made them because people wanted them. We didn't make it for any other reason. Uh, we never would have done that if we hadn't had support on Twitter first. Um, and so when people started criticizing it, my first response was, but people asked us to make these. That seems sort of... Uh, Silly to me.